Nico the Nephilim, the Desert Lord. In the vast, shimmering expanse of the desert, where the sun hung like a merciless sentinel, Nico the Nephilim moved with the stealth of a phantom. His towering eight-foot frame was cloaked in tattered fabric, the colors of the sands blending seamlessly into his surroundings. Here, beneath the relentless sun and the watchful eyes of the desert lords, he prepared for a confrontation that would shake the very foundations of power. For years, the Prime Minister of Israel's reign, he had ruled with an iron fist, exploiting the weakened remnants of the people of Gaza, those who had once been chosen. Under the Desert Lord's tyranny, they were reduced to shadows. Nico could not allow this oppression to continue. As he neared the Lord's sprawling fortress, a massive structure of sandstone and steel, Nico paused, surveying the perimeter. Guards patrolled the sandy paths like hawks, their sharp eyes scanning for intruders, but they were no match for a creature born of celestial power. With a heart pounding in rhythm with ancient prophecies, he planned his approach. The fortress loomed ahead, its walls thick and unyielding. Nico slipped through a narrow gap, a forgotten entrance used by those desperate enough to seek refuge. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of spice and sweat, the echoes of laughter and revelry mingling with the despair of the oppressed. Nico moved silently through the darkened halls, his senses sharpened, attuned to the slightest sound. He could hear the Desert Lord's laughter in the distance, a cruel sound that ignited the flames of vengeance within him. Nico tightened his grip on the celestial sword at his side, feeling its energy pulse in response to his intent. As he approached the Grand Chamber, the door slightly ajar, Nico could see the Desert Lord seated on an opulent throne, surrounded by his Israeli agents. The man was draped in rich fabrics, adorned with jewels that sparkled like stars against the backdrop of the night sky. His voice carried a mixture of arrogance and malice, commanding attention as he boasted of his exploits and wealth. Nico took a deep breath, channeling the strength of his lineage. With a swift motion, he pushed the doors open, the sound echoing through the chamber like thunder. Silence fell as all eyes turned to him, disbelief painting their faces. Prime Minister, Nico's voice roared, resonating with an authority that sent shivers through the crowd. Your reign of terror ends now. The Desert Lord's expression shifted from surprise to disdain. A Nephilim? Here? He laughed, a cold, hollow sound. You think you can challenge me? You are but a relic of the past. Nico stepped forward, undeterred. I am no relic. I am the reckoning for those you have oppressed. Your murder of those in Gaza. Your unjust war. It ends today. With a flourish, Nico unsheathed his celestial sword, its blade gleaming with divine energy. The guards around the Desert Lord sprang into action, but Nico was faster. He swung his sword in a wide arc, the blade slicing through the air and meeting the first guard with a fatal blow. The man fell, lifeless, before he even hit the ground. Chaos erupted in the chamber as the remaining guards scrambled for their weapons. Nico fought with the ferocity of a tempest. His movements were a blend of grace and power, each strike precise, each blow delivering a message. The age of tyranny was over. The Desert Lord scrambled to rise from his throne, panic etched across his face. "'You'll pay for this!' he shouted, trying to rally his men, until he heard their dying cries echo within his chamber's halls. Nico engaged two guards at once, his celestial sword a blur as it danced through the air, cutting through armor and flesh. The desert floor became a canvas of vengeance, painted with the blood of the oppressors. Finally, the chamber lay still, the last guard crumpling to the ground. Nico turned his attention to the Desert Lord, who was now backed against the wall, fear written across his face. Please, the Desert Lord pleaded, desperation overtaking his arrogance. You don't know what you're doing. I can offer you wealth, power. Nico stepped closer, the weight of his celestial sword heavy in his grip. You think power is what I seek. It is justice I crave. With that, he raised the sword, its light illuminating the darkened chamber. The Desert Lord's eyes widened, the realization of his imminent fate dawning on him. Wait, I can change. I can... But his pleas were drowned out by the swift arc of the blade. In a heartbeat, Nico brought the sword down, 
the impact reverberating through the fortress. The desert lord fell, a tyrant silenced, his reign extinguished like a flame snuffed by the wind. Nico stood amidst the chaos, breath heavy, heart pounding. The echoes of his actions rang in the silence. 